video topic request or if you just want to let me know you rock with me send a donation to the cash app or one of these other places you feel me much appreciated and follow me on social media all right y'all this ain't a Rikers Island story this ain't a New York State prison story this is a New York juvenile detention story I got stories when I was in Sparford juvie the stories when I was in Horizon Juvie. This is a Horizon story about how I beat up a nigga for stealing my applesauce in the mess hall during lunch. Okay, so look, this was the situation. Okay, now I do not remember what hall I was in specifically, but I remember that in Horizon I was in A hall, D hall, H hall, J hall, and I think G hall. So in one of them halls, right, one of them halls, right, it was ran by Crips. It was ran by Crips, right? So I remember, like, there was a Crip. There was a Crip nigga named Ajimon, right? Right? Now, if 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 I now if I got my information correctly, I believe he snitched. I believe he might have caught a body and snitched, you know what I'm saying? Why am I saying that? Because the nigga was acting wild tough. But he ain't want to do nothing to me personally. He was wild and he one of those tall niggas. So he don't get challenged too much because he bigger than anybody. But I'm retarded. I go for the bigger nigga first all the time, you feel me? Most of my wars been with niggas that's bigger than me. But anyways, they already ain't like me, you feel me? Because before I even knew they had seating arrangements in Rikers Island, they had seating arrangements in Horizon. It basically was like this. Everybody had chairs, you know what I'm saying? They was like little like hard but like love seat type of chairs. Everybody had the exact same type of chair, right? But there was rows. There was probably three, four rows to fit every single kid. Now, now the so-called toughest kids in the in, in the hall, they would all sit in the front. They would all sit in the front, right? And they usually was known by that. But see me, I was in juvie. I didn't care about all that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's probably why I ended up going to Rikers Island. Cause Juvie did not scare me. It did not scare me. You know what I'm saying? If anything, it made me a little bit more ruthless. So anyways, the Ajimar nigga and the rest of his mans, they was mad at me because when I first got there, I sat in the seat and I refused to move. I refused to move. And you see, even though the counselors the counselors who, you know what I'm saying, they basically COs, but they not really like COs. But they counselors, you know what I'm saying? They don't make you get out your seat for somebody else who think they tough, you feel me? They be like, yo, this ain't musical chairs. Like, y'all want to play musical chairs? Like, like, what are you doing? Sit where you going to have a seat at. So, one of his mans was trying to sit in the seat. I was already sitting in the seat, right? I'm like, yo, I don't care about that shit. Oh, yeah, because mind you. They didn't do the seating arrangement in every single uh, seat with every single counselor. But for this main counselor, they did that. So I came out. I sat in the front. I'm like, yo, we watching a movie. Y'all niggas is bugging. Who the fuck is y'all? <laughs> Who the fuck is y'all, nigga? I was out in the street, terrorizing the streets, being called the menace of society by DEA, just like y'all niggas. You feel me? So anyway, I sat in the seat. I sat in the seat. Niggas was mad or whatever. And I heard nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas looking at me, whispering and stuff like that, whispering and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I don't care. Cause I was really on my bully, you feel me? Because, because I had I had my co-defendant pain, right? Pain from the block, he in the next hall over. And then, and then the biggest, scariest looking nigga in the whole jail was Rich Green. Cause yeah, me and Rich Green, we was in juvie together, like, like, like for real, like. Like, we was on a hunt for niggas. We was in court together in juvie. We was battling niggas, rap battling niggas during halftime in juvie, all that. I'm going to get into that. But at that current point in time, he was in D-Hole. We, we was in, I think, H-Hole together. But at that current point in time, he was in D-Hole. And I was in one of these other holes, probably G-Hole, J-Hole, one of these shits. One of these shits. But anyways, I realized they was mad at me. At first, they tried to get me to, like, get up. Like, yo, if you don't want problems, you got to get up. I'm like, yo, I'm not getting up. That niggas is bugging. I'm not getting up. I'm like, what I'm getting up for? No. No, I ain't getting up. Like, you tweaking. 
you tweaking, you feel me? So they was mad, but they ain't do nothing about it. The next day now, the next day we all in the mess hall, we all in the mess hall eating and shit like that. Now what I loved about the mess hall in Juvie was that you had the chicks, you feel me? Like the chicks were coming in the mess hall too. So you know, like you would try to slide off your little um your little messages, your little notes to the chicks. Or we really just be looking at them, like feel me? Like I'm 15. So I'm 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 looking to see who not wearing the bra under their gym suit. Feel me? Like I'm looking at how big the booties are and the jumpsuits and all that. Ratchet shit, but you know, I'm 15, 16 years old. That shit don't matter. And I just remember the 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 chicks is in there, they grabbing their food. I remember I'm turning, I'm turning away from my plate. I'm turning away from the food now. And I got my neck all the way turned while I'm trying to flirt with a girl, which was which was against the rules. Niggas get in trouble for that. But I was still on her. I was still on her, right? Oh, damn, I done walked the wrong way. And when I turned to look back at my plate, my whole plate was gone, which which I did that, you know what I'm saying? My 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 milk and apple juice was gone. Cool. But my apple sauce was missing. Now, my apple sauce was missing. Now, everybody had apple sauce. But somehow, some way, my apple sauce is missing. And I'm looking... It's a nigga from Harlem that's cool with the rest of them niggas, right? I forgot his name. His name might have been Dede or something, right? He finishing off of applesauce. I'm like, oh, okay, so y'all niggas think I'm pussy. Y'all niggas disrespectful. I'm like, all right, cool. First, I'm like, hey, yo, whoever took my applesauce better replace my applesauce before I turn it up, right? So niggas is laughing at the table, right? Acting like I wasn't going to do nothing. I'm like, okay, you bitch ass niggas is going to learn. So, we get back to the hall, right? Now they got us watching a movie, right? So now, so now I choose to not sit in the front now. I'm like, okay, I'm going to catch you niggas slipping. Now, this has always been my thing. When it's beef and it's war, I'm the nigga that's always planning on how to get the element of surprise. Always. You get the element of surprise, you win every time, man. As long as you deal with people the right way, you feel me? That's just what I do. So I take the element of surprise when people think I ain't going to do shit. I sat in the back, right? In the middle of the movie, in the middle of the movie, I went in the bathroom and I do what I always do. Anytime I ever did something real bad to somebody or I attack somebody, I always go in the bathroom, I look myself in the face, and I make my peace with God. I say, hey, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Before I do a crime, anything, I'm like, hey. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Period. Period. I gotta do this. Niggas violated. So what I did was, I took a piss, I washed my hands, boiled my fists up, walked right out to the last nigga I seen eating applesauce, popped that bottle on the nigga. Hit the nigga with two hooks. Bing, bing. Right? Nigga grabbed me. I'm on top of the nigga. I start beating the nigga face in, right? The counselor slash CO came, picked me up, you know. He had to make me stop by punching me in my bag, and then he punched me in the back of my head. I ran out of energy. And then I basically made a movie like I always do. I said, who the fuck else want it? Who the fuck else want it? Who the fuck else want it? I kill you niggas, right? Right? And then I ended up getting moved out of that spot, and I ended up getting moved to where Rich Green was at. And then more, 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 more ratchet shit and suit, huh? I'm doing larger in my mother house. All right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I turned it up. I turned it up. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that story ends. You feel me? Now, I got more stories. I'm going to talk about how, you know what I'm saying? A dude told me to suck his meat. And then I busted his lip open in the bathroom. I spanked nigga in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Humble beginnings of the beginning of <laughs> my life of crime before I went to prison, right? But like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if y'all like this juvenile detention story and I'll make some more. Peace.